It is 15.32 p.m. It is Sunday. Happy Simple Sunday, y'all. So, I'm going to run off a TV show review. Because I watched some of it last night and then a whole bunch of memories came back for it. So, I got South Park. Yeah. Oh, God. This fucking show. <laughs> I don't know what made me want to watch it, but I watched a few episodes and, man, them memories came the fuck back. I actually had bought um, a few episodes. I bought the Imagination Land Trilogy. Love that shit. Uh, Major Boobage. And something else. I don't remember what, though. But the first one I watched was Jimmy vs. Timmy. <laughs> God. Fucking cripple fight. Damn. I mean, this show is equal parts offensive, but also equal parts social commentary and also the read between the lines type of show if you don't know what that is you won't ever understand this fucking show and just say it as offensive as hell i love the shit out of it because it's funny it is raunchy at time all the time sometimes but i would say i don't think it got raunchier until after uh, hmm. it's hard to really pinpoint when I got super raunchy like if you if you're an avid fan you watched it from start to finish yeah you can see where it shifted and I would definitely say uh, I guess season three maybe roundabout or so I don't know but damn, <laughs> shit was funny. There's like a lot of other shit too. Like the funniest things were Kyle sucking Cartman's balls, finally. <laughs> Even though that is massive pedophilia. <laughs> uh, Mr. Satan and Saddam Hussein's relationship. Mr. Garrison getting the sex change. Big Gay Al. I, I like that episode with him in the Boy Scout troop. That was good shit. Because I, I looked at it, I was like, oh, hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> like, I love how it was just so, it was such good social commentary on uh, how gays are perceived as offensive and always seen as the type to molest boys when it's actually the random motherfucker you hire that's really the pedophile yeah <laughs> it's like the same argument went on what was that i think it was where was that i'm trying to remember i think it was the other day somebody talked about how drag queens are more pedophile there are pedophiles versus actual pedophiles like, dude, drag queens are more safe than anything. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Oh, it was on YouTube. Right. Now I remember, yeah. I was on YouTube. I was looking around for something to watch. And I saw something about Kevin Bacon. And this one guy come was doing a vid on how Kevin and his wife, Kira Sedgwick, uh, they support drag queens and whatnot. And I like that. That's cool. Everybody in drag. Because I grew up on that shit. Like, I watched fucking Too Long Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julie Newmar. Good fucking movie. And this motherfucker that did the vid totally missed the goddamn point. He's like, he pointed out all the wrong shit. And <laughs> it's so stupid. It's like you, and he, he literally, ima not emasculated, mimicked Ben Shapiro's take. <laughs> you can tell these motherfuckers apart. I was like, ugh, that was the worst video I ever watched in my life. I'm like, ugh. But yeah, that's the genius behind South Park that I like, is they will take any hardcore subject and make it a joke but also put context into said joke and show you both sides of it, which I like. 
But I can't watch South Park that much. I really can't. Like, I, I, I what are the watch that really got me fucked up? Uh, the Woodland Critters. <laughs> God. I found that's where I got my inspiration for Thaxter Jones' twisted ass mindset. <sighs> I didn't realize that until I watched Imagination Land. I was like, I need to find out their fucking origin. <laughs> I watched the origin. <sighs> Never again. <laughs> God. But out of all that, and I remember the movie. That was like the biggest thing ever back then when that came out. Like, damn. So good. Oh, you got Mr. Yeah, the movie. The movie was my top favorite because that was so fucked up, but so good and so iconic for pop culture back then. It's before the internet, too. Long before the internet and social media. If that came out today, holy Christ. <sighs> Shit. And they've been under fire before for the shit they've made. It's nothing new. But at the same time, I would say in the later years, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to finish the series, but I would say in later years, they've probably lost steam I would say like it's so hard to find new shit to fuck up or fuck around with but nah. oh my but yeah yeah Mr. Garrison was a trip uh Mr. Hat love Mr. Hat it's too damn funny um Pretty much all the citizens of South Park are a goddamn trip, but I really can't pick my favorite character. It's too hard to pick. They're all fucking hilarious. They're all funny. They all have their unique quirks about them. Um, but seeing how it started to where it is now, what a massive change. Like, it's wow. It's one of those things of watching animation evolve. It's the same setup. It's just seeing it change over the years with every new tool that's come out. Oh, God. Mm. Oh, fucking Al Gore. That was my favorite one. He was a trip. And also, everybody coming out of the closet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Tom Cruise has come out of the closet. <laughs> like, damn. Oh, man. Wow. Jimmy and Timmy joining the Crips. <laughs> um, um, and how far R. Kelly has fallen, too. That's even funnier to me, God. Uh, and then Scientology being teased. Tom Cruise as well, again. <laughs> God. Uh, Barbara Streisand. Bush. George Lucas, Steven Spielberg, raping Indiana Jones. God almighty. I remember when that clip floated around Facebook. Like, Jesus. Oh, that was so wild. Uh, Mr. Hanky. So many fucking characters to mess with. They're so ridiculous. But how would I rate the show? I would have to get out of 10. Definitely your... I'd say a hard... Out of all the seasons. Oh, God. Um, six and a half out of 10. Honestly. Like, the beginning of it, like the first couple seasons... We're definitely solid. But then as you go on later, it just got, it lost its spark, I guess. I don't know. That's just me. And there'll be people who are like, yeah, South Park's good, South Park's bad, South Park was okay. <sighs> but, eh. I don't know, you just have your detractors who just don't care for it and don't get it. So, yeah. But pretty bold for 97 though very bold for that time frame because <laughs> it was so it wasn't just 
edgy. It was also fucking just out there. And it was so, so popular for that time frame. I remember when there were uh, stovepipe South Park hats. I wanted one so badly, never got one. I could find one on eBay probably, but yeah. Stovepipe top hats were the rage back then. Jesus. Ugh. <sighs> but that's what I got for South Park. But yeah, watching them episodes again, that was some trippy shit. <laughs> some good times, but woo, man. So offensive. The best one that was so stupid was definitely Cartman trying out for the Special Olympics. <laughs> I'm retarded. Durr. <laughs> uh, oh, God. So good. But, it, like, if I had to really pick a character that I liked the most, now that I've seen a few episodes and remember some things, I guess I would go with Timmy or... I'm trying to think of the other one I like. Mel Gibson. Yeah, that's it. Mel Gibson, goddamn. Oh, Christ, fucking Mel Gibson. My hip was <laughs> every time. Oh, God. <laughs> it's just so wild thinking about that show and how it came to be. Like, ugh. Mm -mm -mm. Crazy. So, I'm going to get off of here. I am going to read a book. I'm back to review that book in a little while. And, yeah, we'll go from there. So, you like South Park? Cool. If you don't, I get it. It's not for everybody. <laughs> there's some man, there's a lot of glaring shit in that that would not fly today. <laughs> Fuck. That's why it's a product of its time because you can't do certain things now because people are too afraid of. Everybody's so hooked on being publicly correct or pillow. <laughs> Politically correct and non-offensive and being afraid of canceled. Like, you all know what fucking canceled is. Shit. <laughs> but anyway. So, I'll be back later. Stay tuned.